So yesterday you saw me taping up the seam to try and stop the resin from dripping down the whole side of the thing, but obviously it didn't work. There's resin all over everything, or epoxy I should say. All the resin will drip down one edge instead of all over everything. Also, I trimmed off the excess now. While the epoxy was still a little tacky, I just took some scissors and trimmed it off. Now it's fully dry, so it's not even sticky or tacky or anything. It's been like 12 hours. I'm going to sand these edges here and then just sand to do a second coat of epoxy and hopefully that will be enough. I'm not going to film this, same thing, sanding, second coat of epoxy. Also I got split loom attached on everything, all the wires, so the mirrors, passenger, or driver's side, passenger side, and also the screens, everything's got nice looms and wiring. Did I mention the second screen died? Yeah. I think, it, no I didn't, so yeah. Screen died, it's in the garbage. I have two more coming, so hopefully I'll have a spare if another one breaks. I don't even know what happened to it, it just stopped working, it won't turn on anymore. But yeah, everything's ready to go in the car. Just need to finish the mirrors, and second screen needs to come in.
All right, Ding Dongs, I know it's not totally finished, but I'm gonna end the video here and I'll finish it in another video. So as you can see, it only has one screen because one of the screens broke. I don't know why, but it's broken and it doesn't work. It won't turn on. So I have two more screens. One is a spare and another one coming. However, I noticed an issue. If you look right here, if I just move this a little bit, see that? I didn't attach it there. So I have three screws. So one here, here, and here, but I should have done one like here somewhere. So this piece is overlapping this piece here. So what I'm gonna do is design a little hole here so that I can screw this into this piece. That should make it a lot more rigid because right now, yeah, both sides. This side doesn't even sit flush because um, the wires are pushing it out. So yeah, whenever designing anything completely custom, you run into these issues. So let me walk you through everything. So we got left turn signal. I just have to change the programming. You see right now it's flickering really fast. Right turn signal. And then you got the camera controls. And then this will be the horn. I actually have a train horn in the front. It's like the one from Harbor Freight. It's not an actual train horn, but it's a good horn. Um, it's already hooked up to the PDM. I just have to wire in an output. And then we have DRLs here. And see they turn on the dash. And then we have the headlights here. See that? They turn on on the dash. I just need to take the stickers from here put them on here i hope i think they're the same that should be around the same size it's all working with the pdm the carbon fiber turned out awesome this is also going to improve you see how it's a little ripply right now there's a little bit of bumps and bubbles and stuff so i'm going to wet sand this right now it's too soft i gotta wait like a week for it to dry fully especially now because it's cold still it's still like only 40 50 degrees so once it's fully dry i'm going to wet sand it and polish it that's going to be it for this video the digital mirror system is complete in my mind at least i don't have anything to wire anymore this wiring took absolutely forever because i kept like i kept like wiring stuff in and then i'd be like damn it i can't remove this switch now so if i ever need to like remove the switch or take it apart like i am going to take it apart soon because i have to reprint the front pieces um the screen bezels so once i reprint it i'm gonna have to you know take everything out put it back in there's still some things i want to change like the power cable you saw i was really like struggling to fish it in there behind the screen so i'm gonna make it longer so it sticks out the sides and then put a two two pin plug on each screen i will for sure do an update video where i'll do you know like a pov driving with how it looks at night how the cameras look screens are a little bright as you can see like i mean it's dark right now so the tablet automatically dims but the screens don't dim. So I gotta figure something out to make them dim. I might install, they come with a little like remote. I might install, yeah, I gotta figure something out because they're way too bright. Next up, like I've been mentioning, fuel system. Thanks for watching, Ding Dongs. See you guys next week. Sorry this took so long to come out, but I think it's worth it. It looks pretty badass. Peace out, Ding Dongs. Stay sweet. I'll see you guys next week. Do you have your passport?